Um, welcome to uh, the PV Academy, to uh, the first uh, tutorial on silicon, and um, we'll try to cover that in two hours. There are uh, ten different topics. Uh, there we will review the history of from the first silicon to the, the current uh, technologies. Uh, secondly, the second chapter will review the, uh, the, the silicon um, uh, wafer technologies from, uh, from sand to wafers. Uh, then um, Stefan will take over and present uh, the efficiency carrier lifetime limits and uh, uh, talk about the different mechanism of uh, recombinations and uh, talk about the different type of solar cells. We, um, he will continue after that with the uh, passivating contact high and low temperature technologies and talk about the efficiency record of solar cells. Then we, we will talk and, uh, about modules technologies and advanced uh, um, module technologies that we see these days. Uh, we'll talk about degradations, uh, PID, LIDs, and LETIDs, and uh, those uh, mitigation technologies that have been put in place over the years. Uh, we'll talk about cost and learning curve. Uh, and then finally, we'll finish with sustainability of silicon PV technologies. Okay, so um, I am Pierre Verlinden, and I have about uh, 43 years uh, uh, in silicon PV development. Um, I've worked uh, in, at universities in Belgium, originally from Belgium, uh, worked at SunPower and uh, Trina Solar, and now I'm an independent consultant. And my dear friend, uh, Stefan Glunz here, I'll let you introduce yourself. Thank you very much, Pierre. Yeah, I'm the newbie here, um, only 30 years in uh, photovoltaics, not 43 years. So if there's an error, it's coming from my side. Um, I'm working at Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems in Freiburg, and I'm heading the division for photovoltaic research, focusing on silicon, also 3.5, and now perovskite, perovskite silicon tandem cells. But originally, I'm coming from silicon, so my heart is still beating for this old technology, which is still there, Pierre, right? Yes, so we'll see. still there. 